what's going on YouTube Dapper Den here beautiful day here in Colorado and it is today is my first drive in my brand new 2023 Bronco all right I currently just got done at the dealership so this is my first drive of my Bronco and I can already tell it's a little different driving than my truck for sure I got all my mirrors adjusted Got all my settings that I need and I got a full tank of gas and the steering wheel is definitely smaller than my truck but it's it's pretty nice it moves up and down but not telescoping and of course I got it in my favorite color and actually I'm wearing a shirt that I got specifically for today being only a, a two-door Bronco I feel like it's easier to turn than a four-door would be <laughs> so I mean I'm gonna keep it in eco mode most of the time but being the bigger of the two engines the 2.7 liter engine it does have some pretty good get up and go we're not really gonna test that right now though because the engine needs to break in first and I think I got all the gauges I wanted set up um, Maybe I would take the battery bolt one out, but but I do want to be putting a bunch of things on the auxiliary switches. I do want to put a bunch of things on the auxiliary switches, so and my battery voltage might be important for that. And this should get, according to the window sticker, it should get 18 miles per gallon. We're gonna test this manhole cover here. Yeah, it's not bad. In my truck, I can definitely feel that more. So. This has better suspension than my truck, I think. And of course it has bigger tires. We've got the Sasquatch package with the 35 inch tires. But yeah, it only took six months to get delivered. So not bad at all. And I do have a bunch of things in my Amazon cart accessories for this. We will, uh, we're gonna have a bunch of videos coming up uh, eventually of a bunch of parts coming in. All the easy stuff, of course, I'm going to do myself, but all that complicated stuff, we're going to take it somewhere to get those installed. I'm guessing the auto start stop, uh, it's not stopping right now, maybe it's because I have the AC on, but I'm guessing once the engine's broken in, it'll, it'll stop like it's supposed to. Because that does, contrary to popular belief, it does save a lot of gas money. I know it's from having it on my truck. I definitely need to get these windows tinted too because it's too bright in here. It's definitely it's definitely not as wide as my truck. Um, but I feel like the hood is longer than my truck for sure. Which this does have a smaller engine than my truck, so we will well, I'll figure it out later. <laughs> so I was at the dealership and they said I had to wait a week for the check from my bank. And uh, they said there were so many people that wanted to buy this, just like my truck when I ordered it. There were so many people that wanted to buy it. But all the salesmen were like, nope, it's already sold. <laughs> I guess I, I ordered the best looking stuff that, <laughs> that people just want to buy it. Because when I, when I got my truck too, they were the same thing happened. They're like, every, people were asking to buy this left and right. <laughs> Even though it's expensive, people want to buy it. But, uh, so it does come with a, uh, a seven-year warranty, which is nice. A bumper-to-bumper -bumper, seven-year warranty. And they got me a, a good, good, uh, discount on that, too. I have not tested the radio yet, but, uh, I do not want a copyright strike from YouTube, so we're not going to test that right here. But I would imagine the speakers sound all right. Yeah, so the steering wheel is smaller than I was expecting. It's my truck steering wheel is definitely a little bit bigger, but it's all right. <laughs> I don't know where, where, I'll figure it out. 290 miles till empty and 28 miles on it currently. It was like 20 miles when I first left the dealership. And also I did notice it is an inch taller than my truck. So my truck has a leveling kit and 33 inch tires. 
and this with 35s and stock height is an inch taller than my truck maybe two inches I can't really measure just just by looking at it though it looks like it's an inch taller but it has way more ground clearance than my truck does I'm definitely liking this red paint though it looks so good I'm used to my truck on the okay look, here it is here it's on the speedometer on my truck the map shows the speed limit but on here it's right on the speedometer so that's good to know I'm currently currently on my way up to horse tooth to go film the reveal video which you guys already saw these seats one thing I wish the seats did have was the ventilated seats like my truck has but this one has heated seats which would be very nice for the winter time I don't know if you guys could tell but I do hear a little bit of wind noise but it's not bad like everybody is saying it's, it's behind my head and it's where the uh, where the two pieces of the roof come together it's not that bad. People are saying like you can't even hold a conversation. I feel like I could definitely hold a conversation. It's not even bad. So anyway, this has the uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, but uh, of course I don't have an iPhone. I have a, a uh, Android, and it works pretty well so far. These brakes are very nice. I barely have to put any pressure on. This seat is uh, manually adjustable. I've not used a manually adjustable seat in a long time but I got it in a in the good position that I like these uh, a pillars are bigger than I thought too but I'll get used to it <laughs> definitely bigger than the Jeeps that I've ridden in but they have to do that for the airbags but so far so good it drives really well especially so compared to a Jeep Jeeps have a solid rear axle on the front this has independent front suspension, so it's it's supposed to drive 100 times better than a Jeep. I have driven a Jeep before, and I definitely feel like this drives a whole lot better. We're mostly on straight roads right now, but even the little turns that I did do feels fine. Now I did get the uh, the 2.7 liter twin turbo and the 10 speed transmission, which 10 speeds are very good transmissions I, I, I've always I got my truck the first year that they came out with a with a 10 speed transmission I was waiting for that and uh, it's it's awesome so far and it's it'll be just as good in this too okay so down here the reason I didn't get a 2022 is because see how this has the, the temperature on both of them right here the one for oh it turned off by itself nice just like I wanted. Uh, so 2022, they had it for 2021, and they took it away for 2022. In 2023, they brought it back. I, I don't know why, but I like it. In 2022, it's all digital up, up here. Definitely need to get the windows tinted, though. Oh, yeah. There's some extra parts back there. I got bags for the roof and for the doors, and then I got a mesh shade, which goes up here, which they didn't install, but it's okay. That's easy to do myself. This screen is way bigger than the one in my truck, too. <laughs> that is so nice. It has the new SYNC 4. My truck only has SYNC 3. And this one, I've noticed, it uses every gear in... At least in the mode that I'm in. My truck only has normal mode, tow haul mode, and sport mode. And in normal mode, it'll skip gears. It'll skip second and, and fourth, usually. But in sport mode and tow haul mode, it'll use every gear. And so far, for this gauge, I wish I could switch the RPM and speedometer. Because I already have a speedometer right there. So I wish I could make the RPM bigger and the speedometer smaller. Maybe there's a way to do that in the settings. I'll have to figure that out. If anybody knows, let me know. These handles feel really nice too. There's some kind of grip on there that feels good. Yeah, so when you're driving a Jeep, when you're turning, feels kind of wobbly. That manual cover was loose, I guess. But this feels just fine. It's very quiet too. <laughs> 
I'm not used to having quiet vehicles, but I will get a high clearance exhaust eventually. So I gotta wait to break it in before I do anything major with it, as far as like off-roading. Okay, so, so far, the fuel economy is 13 and a half miles per gallon. But it was idling for a while at the dealership while we were setting everything up. I do have the Bronco Trail app, which I can use on here, on the big screen. And uh, I can view all the trails around me and download them and view them on here. So that'll be nice. There we go, 13.7, it's going up already. It's just from idling so much. And so the controls are all backwards from my truck. <laughs> On my, truck, on my truck, the controls, the steering wheel controls are always the opposite side. Alright, we're going to get some uh, twisty mountain roads up here shortly, so we'll see how it does in the first canyon ride. This road is a little rougher than the other roads, but still not bad. It's mostly in part to the... Uh, the 35 inch tires, they're just so big, they soak up all of the, uh, the bumps. Alright, here we go. This is how we get up to the twisty roads. Okay. Here we go. Here's the sharp turn coming up here. So far, that turn was fine. It'll be interesting to see once I go through a full tank of gas, what the gas mileage ends up being. If it goes up to the uh, the window sticker of, of 18 miles per gallon, or if it goes better. See, that turn was sharp, and it's just fine. Which I don't know, the, the turn going the opposite way, still just fine. There's no roll at all. Like, if you've ever been in a Jeep before, you know they roll. This is, doesn't roll at all. Oh yeah, so nice. Look at those views, though. You yeah, lake views and mountain views. Hopefully it's not too busy up here. It looks like it is, though. I did get the sound deadening headliner. But, I don't know, I mean, I, just, I don't feel like it's a ton of wind noise. It just sounds, it's not even as loud as a window being cracked open. It's not that loud at all. I don't know why people are complaining about that. So far, no complaints, though. It handles just fine. One thing that'll be interesting with this is towing, like, a little, little camper behind it. It can tow 35... 3,500 pounds, but everyone says the, the longer four-door tows a little bit better. So, if I ever get a camper or something, that'll be interesting to test out. All right. It's, it's definitely a little windy up here. Hopefully that won't hurt the audio or the reveal video. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I got. That's the whole first drive of my new 2023 Ford Bronco. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you really liked the video, share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Later.